All right. So now our the next step for us is to add the functionality for removing an item from the list. So right now, if we click on this, nothing's happening. All right. So let's go ahead and work on that. First things first is we want to add an on click event listener to the delete button. So going to your cart page. Let's navigate to the button for deleting. So that is this button right here. Add an on click. And the moment a detection of the click has occurred here, we want to fire off a dispatch of function called delete from cart and pass it the argument of the product. All right, now this delete from cart is going to be a Redux action function, which we are going to create later. But right now we're just doing the setup here. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take care of our constant reducer and action function. All right, so first start off with the constant. So let's go ahead, collapse this components folder, go to the Redux folder. And here we're going to go to the car constants file. Copy. All right, so now there's going to be a lot of copy and pasting, just uh, making some changes. So this is called delete from cart delete from cart now that we have that taken care of next is reducer so go to the reducer for cart reducers we're gonna have to import that constant we just got done creating so delete from cart next Take this case here, paste below, change to delete from cart. All this stays the same. We're going to spread out the action payload into the cart, which is going to update this uh, cart up here. All right. And finally, our action function. So go to the actions file, cart actions. And we can start off. I'm going to just copy this line right here. Go below, paste, and we're going to change this name to delete from cart. All right, we're going to be using that constant that we created earlier. So bring it up here so we don't forget delete from cart. All right, so now let's start working on this action function. All right, so to start off with, we are going to grab the cart from the local storage if it exists, otherwise just set the cart variable to be an empty array. So if the local storage get item of cart, then make use of it, but first we have to parse it. Local storage, get item of the cart. Otherwise, if it doesn't exist, just set it to an empty array. Next is we're going to do a filtering of this cart and check if the, um, if, if the product if the product that's passed as an argument matches the item that's in the cart and we're going to remove it if it if it does so we're going to do filtering so we're going to call this variable updated cart and we're going to do filtering on the cart and identify each item in the cart as a cart item so what we're going to do is we're going to say if the cart items ID is not equal to the product dot ID then we're gonna store it in this updated cart variable all right so the only thing that's gonna be filtered out is the product ID if there's a match all right that will be removed and then we'll have a new updated cart with all the items 
that is not a match to the product. All right, and then finally, what we want to do is we now that we have an updated cart, we want to we're gonna have to update the local storage and Redux store. So let's start off with the local storage. We're gonna do local storage set item cart, and since we're storing in local storage, we're gonna have to do JSON dot stringify and pass in that updated cart. Finally, update Redux by calling the dispatch. Type is going to be delete from cart, and then the payload is going to be the updated cart. The updated cart. Delete from part is not defined. Okay, so finally we have to import that here into our cart component to make use of it. So go over here, import, uh, delete. Delete from cart. Uh, no, this path is not correct. The path is going to be coming from go back one directory, go into Redux, actions, and then cart actions. If we save that, we see no errors in our backend console. And now we can do our testing. I'm going to open up my console because I'm going to verify um, as we're deleting here that it's removed from our local storage and Redux. So I'm just going to pull this up here. All right, so currently you see we have two items, cheese pizza and veggie burger. And if we look here in the local storage, you see two items and our Redux store. Uh, let me pull this up a little bit more. All right, so in our Redux store, we have inside our cart two items, right? All right, so everything's correct there so far. All right, so I'm going to test first on this cheese pizza, remove it. So it is removed here from the UI. And if we look into the local storage here, you see it was also removed from the local storage. And if we go to the Redux, you see that here in the cart, we only have one item as well, which is Virgin Burger. Now, if we delete everything here, this message is just updated saying our cart is empty, but if we check here, local storage, this is empty. In our Redux store, this is empty too. All right, so there you go, and let's go ahead and uh, do some adding. Let's add some stuff to the cart. I'm gonna add the turkey burger. Let me go to the home page. go to the new arrivals, say I wanna add the pasta parmesan, and lasagna. All right, go back to the cart page, and now we have our three items, and I wanna delete delete and now we have only one item all right so now we took care of that and i'll see you in another lecture